Hi folks and welcome back to some more Ultimate General Civil War. It's the 14th of September 1862 and we're about to fight the Battle of South Mountain as we try and pen General Lee's Army of Northern Virginia with their backs against the river and uh, bring them to an engagement at uh, near Sharpsburg at the Battle of Antietam. Okay, or Antietam. I don't know how it's pronounced. I, I think the second one was closer, but we <laughs> I'll let you Americans tell me if I was even close on either attempt. This is actually going to be a larger battle than I thought, and we're going to get 12 Corps, uh, sorry, 12 Corps, Second Corps, with their 12 brigades of infantry, skirmishers, and artillery, and all the rest involved in this. So a little bit bigger than expected, but here we go. Lee has entered into Maryland and Northern Soil for the first time. He dispatched Longstreet with the right wing of the rebel army at Boonesboro. You need to drive a part of your army through Foxes and Turner's Gaps and attack Longstreet. The rest of your army will move to break the siege of Harper's Ferry, which we successfully did and relieve its garrison that is attacked by Jackson's left wing of the rebel army. It was a much smaller fight that we came across down there. This one is, I suspect, going to be bigger and tougher. The rebels have deployed two divisions to guard Fox's and Turner's Gap at South Mountain and block your advance against Longstreet. You need to attack and secure a safe passage for the army. Be careful because the enemy holds some strong positions on the high ground. Good luck, General. We've got everyone coming in right from the start, so we need a bit of a plan this looks like a killing ground across here, doesn't it? So one thing we could do is maybe advance our artillery to the front of here uh, with protected from skirmishes. We could try, f we want to be flanking around from the top. How many brigades do I want to do that? And we want enough to sort of have a general line across. We've got 10 brigades of infantry. Cavalry would be good to go across the top as well. And we can maybe risk some skirmishes going across here. Okay, let, let's let's think about that then. Um, there's some. We've got the Prince of Wales volunteers. They're skirmish cavalry. We should see Leonidas in here somewhere. Do we not? There we go. They're melee cavalry. So these can go faster. And we'll see what we find across the top. Right. Give me. I'm going to go. Oh, the Excelsior Brigade and hold the main line. That's that's a generic brigade, by the way. If anyone would like it, it's there for the for the naming. Barge's Brigade. I can rely on you guys. Philadelphia Brigade is another generic one. And Wheeler's Artillery is generic. We, we need some. Let's have the Durham Light Infantry. They can go up there. And let's have a look. I should have quite a bit of artillery in this. I tried to make some artillery companies to fill this up. And Rube's Brigade. So I'm putting some experienced troops. I'm going to have four brigades plus the cavalry try and go across here to turn their flank and attack from the top. Do I want to even bother attacking from down here? I think we're better off trying to concentrate our force, although going across an open field. If we're going to turn a flank, though, we want some firepower here. So let's have the artillery where it can advance fairly quickly to the front. We've got skirmishers who can go to the front. I mean, these are not just skirmishers. These are sharpshooters. Uh, we've got that. Uh, we've got B's battery. Excellent. Any artillery down here that I can pull up? Yep, we've got the... The Gota Engineer Regiment, these were recently added to the army. What are they armed with? Six pounder smoothbore, so not the most effective artillery. We've got Blake's Brigade, which we'll bring up here because we, we want to defend across here and have something. So the Excel, oh, Johansson's Brigade also recently added. Welcome to the army. And we'll have the generic ones who can form a bit of a front line. And we've got the Swedish Royal Guards as well. There we go. So we're going to have a strong force up here. And then if they want to counterattack and swing across here, let them come on. I'm not going to worry about that. And we, we're just going to try and ignore this half of the map. And hopefully the outflanking force can get across here. If it's hotly contested across here, this might turn out to be a mistake. I honestly don't know what to expect. Oh, we've got Maximus's battery. So let's have all the artillery up in the north where we can advance to... What are you armed with? Smooth balls. Do we have anything? Mm. 12 pounder smooth balls. Wheelers were 6 pounder smooth balls. B's batteries were... We have no rifled guns. Okay, so there's nothing in the Goat Engineer Regiment. There were 6 pounders as well. Okay. We have a lot of light artillery and some good medium artillery, but it's a shorter range stuff. That's okay. It's just going to have to be the case that it, it, that's what we do. Let's make sure everything is protected or positioned so that we can get straight into this. The artillery, uh, the cavalry can go zooming in. The artillery will have to take up positions, but we might need to send skirmishers forward. 
we're going to fire across here. Okay, this is the plan. Let's see if we can make this happen. Whoops, start battle. Wish me luck, folks. This one looks like it might be a bit more challenging. So, cavalry, first thing. Let's see what would they run into over there. And they might literally run into some trouble. Skirmishers to the front. And we're going to go through the woods. I don't want to rush anything in too much. So let's go in there. Um, the guys who are going to be holding this line... You know, let, let's put artillery forwards. I don't want to rush the artillery right to the front of that wood just yet. So we're going to go skirmishers and bring these forwards. What have we got at the back here? The Philadelphia Brigade. You were supposed to be holding a bit further down south, I think, but that's fine. They can stay in reserve. We're going to send some skirmishers forward to see what's going on on the other side. I think this will be really useful. And the Irish Brigade. We're going to hold from this farm upwards. Bring the Excelsiors up. And Swedish Royal Guards can move forward a bit. We're just going to see what happens. And let's just slowly play this out. The main part of the attack is going to be in the north. So I think I'll bring Grant up here. I'm hoping we can turn this flank. If we can turn this flank, then we're, we're going to be golden on this. But if the enemy actually hold this, and it's, it's decent ground to hold... Then we're in trouble. Okay, what's moving? Maximus's battery is not moving. I've not spotted anything here. So oh, okay, here we go. Let's get the artillery opened up. Charge them in. We can just chase those guys away. They can run faster than cavalry can. I suppose going through woods that's quite possible dismount them I'm going to have to try and get Leonidas' men up there Prince of Wales are meant for skirmishing so we can actually go oh we've, we've hit an enemy um, battery over there try and get these fellas over there what we can do we've got some heavy problems coming our way right let's pause this we need to actually make a move can I um... we've got some heavy opposition down here which might be coming right at us that's absolutely fine let's occupy the best ground that we can and Henry's men forwards to there so me charging across there is probably not going to be the best idea. However, I want to bring some artillery up to this edge so that we can actually shoot out a little bit. We've got some skirmishers here. I think they can come across. These guys are armed with Sharps rifles. Or are they? No, these guys are armed with the Hunter rifles, which aren't as good. Uh, let's see, Blake's Brigade... Swedish Royal Guards. We've got a battery there. Let's put a battery right behind here. If anything has a plan to come across there, we want to make sure we stop it. Try and get the artillery into position. Okay, let's, let's move on again. Bring these guys up into the woods. There's a chance that we are going to get outflanked here, so I'm going to bring the Excelsiors across like this. There's definitely a heavy rebel presence down there. That is not a problem. We have found enemy skirmishers. Okay. Leonidas' brigade. Oh, God, we've been charged. Right, dog meat brigade. I want skirmishers out on that flank immediately. You. <laughs> the cavalry is falling back, and I do not blame it. Yeah, okay. Blocked. Yes, the Prince of Wales own a, a, is kind of blocking things a bit here. Everyone's blocking things a bit here. Skirmishers versus skirmishers. We've got a battery at the front at least, so that's good news. We've got more artillery coming forwards over there. Um, Maximus's battery is there to pound away at the middle. That's good news. 
what we could do here, I think we can actually deploy skirmishes everywhere. The Iron Brigade. Not the Iron Brigade, I'll just hasten to add. It's just one I named the Iron Brigade. I think we actually get the Iron Brigade as a reward for doing well in, um, in perhaps this campaign. Or perhaps it's the next one. Guys? There's like there's like a lot of a lot of men there. They're blocked. I'll keep the cavalry up close. The Durham Light Infantry needs to cross as well. I mean hopefully three brigades are gonna drive roads back here. Did dogmeat skirmishes get through? Have they been driven off somewhere? Have they retreated? I don't see where they went. They might be in there and I just can't see them. Unless they were driven off the map. Surely we didn't lose them. No, we haven't lost them. Oh, well. They, they might... Oh, hang on. I think I can see them in there. Right. I'm just going to let four brigades power away at roads there. And hopefully... There they are. <laughs> I'm actually I'm going to get them to rejoin for the moment. Because they're kind of, kind of stuck there. Right. Get the cavalry out on the flank. I didn't really want to develop this attack in this direction. I must admit. I think we're good to... Oh, I didn't expect you guys to go over here. Let's let's cross. Into the woods if we can. And just cause some problems with the skirmishers. Get the Swedish Royal Guards over. Do you know what? We, I think we can advance out of here. Try and get to a better position here. I don't want to be... There we go. This is looking better already. Right, now you guys go. We'll deploy skirmishes from Rude's Brigade, I think. And get them over there. Looking a whole lot better all of a sudden. Jackson? What's Jackson doing here? It's supposed to be Longstreet. Let's get someone on and try and get the Durham Light Infantry into some cover because I don't like them standing out in the open like that. Oh my word, we've, 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 we've seen something. Time is okay. Time is on our side at the moment, so that's all right. We will bring these guys ready to attack through the middle. And the Philadelphia Brigade can actually join the fight down here. I think we'll put the supplies over there. I think that's where the fighting's going to be. I'm just going to mount those dudes back up. Flanked? Yeah, just get all the way round the back if we can. What we need is to try and push this force here. Barge's Brigade. Skirmishers, please. Try and get everything over there. If we can get skirmishers round the back, that would be super useful. Let's advance these two. And the Prince of Wales volunteers, see if you can sneak around the back as well. Bring General Grant up. And the battery is doing its thing. They're in cover, they are sniping away quite effectively. As long as we just hold this big force here, uh, we're quite happy with this. Oh my word, the Excelsior Brigade is just, just, right, this, you need to fall back. <laughs> that's, that's, um, that's very enthusiastic going in like that. Those guys aren't particularly well armed, it has to be said. Right, we need to bring these down here like this. We need to go on the double now. We've got Leonidas' men round the back, excellent. Plow, plow these through the middle. Those are skirmishes. They do want to be around the back. Right. Let's get two lots firing into the flank down there. I'm going to have to bring room for Gado because there isn't room to deploy them over here. We're kind of getting full. This is this is more like it now. We're, we're pushing them down. Leonidas has... Probably, yes, probably wisely pulling back. I'm going to dismount the Prince of Wales volunteers and bring them through the woods. They are skirmish cavalry. We can maybe get some good use. If this huge force is blocked down here, then we're going to take South Mountain. We're not going to have a problem with it at all. Let's bring those guys over like that. Come on, we need to get these guys in.
cavalry is taking quite a lot of casualties there, which is not good. I'm going to try... Oh, they've just fired. Right, they've just fired. Let's go in. In we go. And we can, we can do a charge here. This is melee cavalry going in. They should be they should be quite effective. They've been driven off. That's great. This is what melee cavalry does, but you have to use them at just the right time. Otherwise, they're not a whole lot of use the rest of the time. Let's bring barge brigade around. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's that's going very well. So they should be massacring those, and we this looks like an open flank to come down here. This is excellent news. Evans is moving back. Dog meets men trying to push against. We, we're basically attacking against the entirety of the uh, enemy artillery up here. There's a lot of artillery, isn't there? But as long as this stuff stays down south and we can get in position, then we're we're in a much better, I think, a much better position for this. Yeah, we're making good progress here now. Nice, nice. So the the kills are coming back up. That will be. Uh, butchering over there. Let's get these guys down if we can. Flanked? What's flanked? Looks like dog meat brigade has gone. Really gone in. It's taking some. They shouldn't be getting beat by um, artillery though. What I need, I need the Swedish Royal Guards to advance across here. Johansson's brigade to come up after them and Blake's brigade this is where we, we push across here try not to get flanked of course I'm going to bring the Irish brigade forward just as a bit of support and cover there's a whole lot of stuff about to turn up and cause me some, some serious headaches here I am still trying to fight off artillery batteries which I'm really surprised about let's, let's sneakily move these guys down I mean, these want to be on the flank, ideally. This cavalry wants to be on the flank. If only I could find some great position to, to charge from. I don't want to charge and get caught in the face of a huge volley. That's that's my biggest concern, really. Let's go, we should move up. Some of these guys need to sort of rejoin the main regiments now, I think. Wow. Dog meat men have decided enough is enough. I've had it charging these cannons in the face. And who could blame them, quite honestly? Right, this is this is where we want to be. This is where we want to be, isn't it? Into the woods. And just shoot out of them. Good stuff, fellas, good stuff. Okay, bring them down. Evans Brigade should be taking some serious punishment down there. Yep, the Irish Brigade needs to get there and quick. Henry's Brigade needs to get there and quick. We want to shoot into the flank of McCray. Blake's Brigade's been driven back. Not surprisingly. We're doing some work. Durham Light Infantry needs to get engaged on the double. Come on. Time is, time is fine because um, we should be should be taking this. All right, let's keep moving down. Good. I mean, night's falling. It's quite clear in the game night is falling. I, I think that's a great effect. Let's march these guys down here. Roof Brigade needs to get in. This is good. We've got these guys now in a, in a very uncomfortable position. Let's bring in the Iron Brigade. There is still stuff down here. I'm happy for that to be distracted completely. Let's bring up some artillery a bit closer. Um, is... All right, let's, let's just bring the supplies down like this. They can resupply as they go. We should be okay. We've got the farm. We, have to, we just have to hold it. I think we're going to hold it. I don't think there's a whole lot that we can get with the cavalry now. Oh, there's dirt, right, we need to watch out for that, because that looks like a counter-attack to me. Let's just slow that down.
open fire. Return to your parent unit. Yep, they're coming in. Swedish Royal Guards have clearly been engaged. Right. Okay, let's get the Durham Light Infantry in there, actually. They, they need to get in a bit closer. Dogmeat Brigade coming to hold the farm because there are some problematic looking people coming up that road which we don't really want anything to do with. What's this? Let's find out what this is here. It looks like Rebels in the Woods. There's something that's broken, so that's okay. Are we feeling are we feeling brave? Because that would be brave. That would be brave. Run in, give him a pistol volley, and get out, because I think you're gonna take a volley in the arse here if you're not quick. <laughs> into the trees, boys, into the trees. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I, I, I have no intention of charging enemy um, brigades in the face. That's that's bad news. Put those skirmishes in place. There shouldn't be any way that we can lose this now, I think. We need to get the Durham Light Infantry engaged down there, though. What's going on across here? So the Irish Brigade should be doing well. The Henry's Brigade, because we should be in slightly better positions for this. I'm just going to run these forward. The artillery has moved up. Let's send that back. And we're probably short. Well, we can probably move this artillery down. I think it's going to be too late, though, I, I think. It's captured, so we've got it. I don't know whether it's going to run the time down altogether, but we'll, we'll see what it wants to do. These guys on the flank over here. Okay, enemy brigades are struggling to manoeuvre in, in front of our line, but we should have it. I would like a brigade down there, rather than just trying to hold this with skirmishes. But, I mean, if anything tries to come in, we've got the cavalry to, to rush them, so we should be fine. The attack against here has, has broken down completely. So do we send the Philadelphia Brigade in to try and get French's battery? I'm going to try it. And at the same time, let's bring in the Irish Brigade. Oh, something's coming in over here. Rhodes Brigade coming in. It's a bold attack. We should be well equipped for this with our Springfield muskets, which are actually quite good in melee. They used to fire. I don't know how prevalent this was, but there were some rounds available called Buck and Ball. And basically, it wasn't just the musket ball, it was two or, or several rounds of buckshot as well that loaded with it. Um, that was certainly something used at the start of the war. I don't know how much that was used later on, but of course the smoothbore muskets were, as, as the war went on, they were, they were phased out or, or put into like, given to militia units and stuff. Okay, I think, I think we're okay. I mean, there's the possibility of closing in and giving them an absolute slapping. But I think I'm reasonably content just to just to let this, let's get the Iron Brigade back in there. Braxton's artillery, turn that off. We are doing some work, the Swedish Royal Guards artillery, it's taking some casualties. Sorry, no, they're the skirmishers, a big fan. The Go to Engineer Regiment, they're, they're doing some good work as well. Let's bring them in so they can shoot. And B's battery, I mean, we've got 20 minutes left, so we should be fine. This one's going to darkness though, isn't it? All right, I think it's time to fall back here. I don't think there's much that we can benefit from from this. We'll get back into defensive positions. I went to chase off the artillery. Let's, let's speed up time. I don't think they're going to make a counter-attack. I was hoping they would. I'm wondering if I might be able to sneak some extra cavalry kills in here. trouble is if I get too close with these and do that twice I'm going to get shot to pieces like that 
And don't forget the range of uh, skirmishing cavalry is not that great. Hang on. Get them out of there. These guys are going to get charged by... Well, they're not going to get charged, but they are going to take some bodies. There we go. Now there's an opportunity. If I go and attack that while it's fleeing, that could be a massacre. But at the same time... Oh, God. This, that, that wood is just absolutely teeming with rebels. We can't do that. We need to be out of there. I'm glad that stopped when it did. <laughs> See, cavalry is very brittle stuff. It's great in the... It has to be just the right situation. Anyway, that was a victory at South Mountain. So... Uh, it was a tighter victory, but we won. We did inflict double casualties that we took, so that's that's good news. Units, um, Dogmeat's Brigade doing great. Barge's Brigade doing great. And the cavalry, the cavalry was good, but I'd say it's hard to use, but it's good that we got in. So we've got some, uh, some officers promoted, which is good news. And what did we get? So we captured nothing of any great value unfortunately oh we've got some mississippi rifles i think we can equip a full brigade with those now we've got two thousand of them so that's good news and we captured some guns which is something all right okay so it's not a total disaster as, it, as, as captured goods are concerned so that's good news let's have our career points and we'll put this one on i'm tempted to go logistics going into the next fight yeah i'm going to do this this will give us 25% additional ammo. I'm going to apply yes, that. Sir. Because it could be a big one and a long one. Right, second core. Nice. We've got some promotions for the artillery, which is excellent. We do the standard, I think, of extra ammunition because they do go through ammunition quite a lot. Was there any other artillery? Sadly, that was the only one. And if we can upgrade them from six pounders, we absolutely will. Let's get some replacements done first. So the Prince of Wales volunteers. Luckily, we, we do have some sharps in the armory. And they're not going to lose their star, so that's great. Barges Brigade. Well done, fellas. You guys did all did good. Dogmeat's Brigade, unfortunately. Lost a few, but uh, it's okay. It's not as bad as it could be. Division commanders are all okay. Well, that's fine then. So the Excelsior Brigade, which these these are just randoms. If you would like to control them, shout up. We can rename them to whatever you would like. Well, not to whatever you would like. But let's be sensible. Let's keep it on a military theme and ideally on on a, something that fits the uh, fits the game. So let's go with what should we have? Stamina, efficiency, and speed. Do you know what? Let's let's just choose some different ones and see how things perform. I didn't upgrade that, did I? Oh, if I upgrade that... Right, okay, so they, they can't receive an upgrade for fear of... They can. Actually, these might then, because this is... No, okay, so we can go to that. And we'll keep it there. I don't want to lose their, their star. Let's do this a little bit differently in, in this division then. Johansson's Leonidas. Leonidas did well. The melee cavalry was good. It, it got one situation, but it was it was a good situation. I think we can afford to put the two guns into B's battery now. That's excellent. Uh, Rube's brigade. Let's get them up. So people are doing okay. The Durham Light Infantry had a bit of a scrap. Yes, Didn't sir. get as involved as we maybe would have liked. Plenty of Lorenz rifles. They're, they're decent rifles, though. There's nothing wrong with them. We'll switch them out for something better if we've got something. Maximus's battery is looking good. The skirmishers. Let me see if I can afford sharps. I can't afford the sharps rifles. That's a shame. And then there's even better ones, but there's just not enough. I'm going to have to buy them bit by bit, I think. So the hunters we can, though. We, we can afford more hunters, yeah? We can stock them up. So what I might do with the money is just go and buy all the sharps rifles so there's more to replace them with next time. I, I think that works. And then these generics, these, um, I mean, he's led by a major. I shouldn't be so cheap. Then again, we, it's good to level these guys up, so. Was that, you weren't at one star, were you? No, they were really close, though. And we'll try and get, actually, we will try and get some better weapons if we can. 
That's good. That's the, the Fire, Irish shot. Brigade. Let's go for that one. And Wheeler's battery of six pounder field guns. And Braxton's 12 pounders. Actually, we, we can we can do this. Just have to watch the efficiency drop. I'll try and do it as he gets promoted so we don't lose too much. It's a nice way of training captains up is, is this, but I don't want weak, useless units at the same time either. Uh, so where were we? So let's just make sure everyone's... I'll try and get the Lorenz rifles onto the generic ones. No, before I do that, the go to engineers. Let's, let's, let's change this. What have we got in the shop? So I can go straight to 12 pounder Napoleons. Oh, I can go to 10 pounder Ordnance. That costs a lot, but they're going to be considerably better than the six pounder field guns by a mile. You've got 12 pounders, you've got 12 pounders. So Wheeler's battery. Have we got 10 pounder parrots? Yes, these are something different. Whole lot of money, but it's, it's good. That's good. So let's go for the Lorenz. Oh, hang on. We've got Johansson's Brigade with Springfields. Well, that clearly needs changing. We've got enough of Enfields. No, we haven't got enough Enfields yet. Surprised we haven't captured any of them. There were... I thought we had some Mississippis. Oh, I must have sold them all off. No, I haven't. They're in the third core. There's a, there's a unit in the third core with those. And we didn't have enough to completely kit them out. There, and yeah, I thought I'd done that. So what we can do is we can just... I don't... I think third core is going to be involved at this battle. It'll come to a point where it says, that's it, you can't do any more. So let's go to... Where is it? That's going to go white. Careful. One at a time. Apply. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Using captured rifles. It's cheaper that way. Uh, we'll have to see if third core is. Anyway, so you guys who've got uh, your brigades in here, let's see if we can afford to switch out these Lorenzes to something a bit nicer. Uh, let's have a look. Springfields and Harper's Ferries are pretty oh, much yeah, the standard. The Lorenz are okay. Let's change them, though. To ha oh, I can't do it. Okay, so that's it. That's what we're going with in the next one. We do have 2,000 Lorenz in the armory, so if there's any of these... There we go. Straight to the Lorenz. Equip. And can we upgrade that? Yeah, we should. Well, they should be maxed out. Sorry, I missed that one. And the Excelsior Brigade are going with what they've got. So there we go. So what we'll do is we will take a look at the Battle of Antietam and next time. We've actually got some bonuses here because we won the Battle of Second Bull Run. We won the other two here. So each one has an effect. So it's going to be a total of minus 10% enemy army size. We should make things a little bit easier for us. I will try and switch things around in the third core. In fact, we can have a look how this is going to go. So let's just see. Uh, well, I just want to see how we deploy this and then we can decide. So we are. OK, so I do want all three core and that if we had four core, we've, we could have reserves as well. Um, so I'm going to try and boost those up. We'll arm them with smooth bores. I'll use all the recruits. I'll get as many as men as I can. This is going to be a hotly contested fight. So this is going to be a good one, folks. Hope you're enjoying it. And of course, if you'd like to volunteer, leave a comment down below. We'll get you into the army and I'll see you on the next one.